Hello and welcome. This is a 2 litre Mitsubishi Outlander diesel with a Volkswagen engine. I'll just take the engine cover off. And that's a ERG valve and throttle body. The ERG valve is faulty. It's already had a new one but it's, it's gone again. So we're going to change it again. This is the new one. It comes with a little gasket. I can't get an original port, it's really hard to get the Volkswagen port. So I'll try this one, see how it goes. This one's called the Volt. It's the number. Let's see what happens. You need a T50 for these ones. That one and that one. And the other ones or a T30 which is there and there and there's a third one around the back but it's a really long bolt and it goes through the throttle body as well so it's round here and it's a T30 for these as well for the throttle body which is down there tell them with three bolts one there one there and one there for the throttle body if you're just doing the throttle body but that one is a long one it goes right through the ERG valve if you're doing the ERG valve you've got to take that long one out that one out that one there which is tricky because you've got to take this off first to get rid of it then you just pull the you pull the clip out of there to take your pipe off I don't know if you can see that there you just pull that clip off yeah it just pulls off there you go and the pipe should just slide out the bottom there you are It'll be quite dirty, you know, in there. It is a diesel. But if you're just doing the throttle body, it's that one. There's a one up the hole there, and a one round the back there. A small expander and extension, you can get them. You've got to take this breather pipe off. Which is on the back here. Which doesn't want to come off, but it will. You've got to take off the electronic unit on the throttle body, which is there, as well. Let's just push and pull, typical Volkswagen. Now, you have to pull this pipe a bit towards you to get to that last bolt. You can move it a little bit to get under there to get to it. So as you can see, the ERG is pretty grubby. That's the really long one. It goes through both the throttle body and the ERG valve, it's the one at the back. So now we'll put the new one on, it's just the reverse process. We'll put the ERG valve on first with that one there and this one here to hold it in place. This is a little, this the bolt at the back is a little tricky to get to, so you've got to use a bendy one in your socket. Okay. Tip to get that bolt back in there, this is obviously in the way. So I've got a bar wedging it that way, just a centimetre, just a bit of push, so you can actually get your finger up there to screw that in by hand. Because you don't want to mess up with these and salt alloy, because it's hot, because that obviously covers the bolt when it's in. The gasket that came in is obviously the wrong size, so I'll just have to use the old one. It's completely different. Back on. You definitely use small extension bar to get the, some of these underneath. Main new ERG valve had a double bolt on but the old one fits the same, it just opposite holes so it doesn't really matter. I certainly use the old seal but that was all. But yeah, pipe back on, reset your computer and it should be okay. Oh don't forget to put your electric back on. And that's just a push pull bit. You push it in there's a little switch on the back, you flick, then you pull it back. That's it on, you just push them on. Okay. Thanks very much, hope you enjoyed the video.